Hello guys, welcome. <laughs> I'm pretty much so excited to do this. Um, I will be doing some mukbang and these are Indian food that I'm going to eat. So I have here some dishes from a friend of a friend of mine. Um, she's actually an Indian and her name's Ara. So she's such an amazing uh, lady and she sent this amazing um, dishes and I wanted to try this because I've never had this before. Um, we have the chicken biryani, though I have tasted chicken biryani before, but I'm just not entirely sure if what's the difference between, you know, the biryani that I have tasted before or the biryani from Hyderabad. But this is actually an, you know, a Hyderabad biryani. If you know the difference, let me know because I, re I really don't know the difference, but probably I will get a no once we tasted this already. Okay, so I'm pretty much so excited. Um, wow, can you see that here? What do you call this? Uh, paneer. Open this. This is so tricky. Oh. There. And this one is, I, I think it's a dip. Um, she mentioned that this is some sort of um, dip made from yogurt and mint. Let's open this one. Oh, oh my god. It has a very nice greenish color. Alright, and then I have here some roti or the flatbread. <laughs> Just ignore that part because I did have a bite earlier because I'm so excited. And I love the color. It has some spots, like charred spots in it. And look at that. It's so wonderful. Oh my god. I'm so excited to try this. Maybe it goes well with the dip. I'll be reheating all of this stuff and then I'll transfer them in a plate so that I can enjoy them. So, bon appétit. First, I've heard about Biryani was, I think I was watching some sort of documentary in Mauritius and this is the dish that was prepared and you know, I've seen that it's been cooked in like a very large uh, casserole and then, you know, the chicken was marinated and they put on some yogurt and they put uh, mud on the lid of the casserole and then they kind of like bake, bake it from the ground like they they put some coals on top of the lids and then, you know, and it was just so amazing. So, first of all, I am going to drink. This is a um, cocktail I've made. This is daiquiri, a lime daiquiri. Mm, so amazing. Hyderabad chicken biryani. And then some amazing roti. The mint sauce and macaroni paneer. Okay, so let's go ahead and try first the roti. It's amazing. <laughs> so it's really my favorite. And then let's dip it here in this um, macaroni paneer. Let's have a taste. Mmm. I don't know if this is considered dal or an Indian stew. I've made, um, what do you call that? I've made some of this. Um, it's actually a uh, sambar stew and it was so amazing. I think it has a resemblance to that dish I've made. And mm, it's very good with roti. 
I thought it's a tofu, but um, what was told me is this is a cottage cheese. So let's go ahead and see if it, if this is really a tofu or a cottage cheese. Uh, a cottage cheese. I don't know. Hmm. This is not really tofu. I think the taste is more like a milk curds. The cottage cheese. It's very mild. But, um, mm. it is satisfying. But again, it's kind of have a resemblance to just regular tofu. Let's try one more. Mm. Mm. Um, I want to try this. This is the yogurt mint sauce. Mmm. Oh my god. So, uh, ah, sorry. No, oh no. Anyway, I don't care. This actually reminds me of the Greek sauce called tzatziki. Did I pronounce it right? But tzatziki, actually, I've tried to make it before. Um, it's made of yogurt and then some diced cucumbers and then some garlic um. That it. I think that's that was it. Um, some olive oil, and it was a very refreshing dish. Um, it's very cool inside your body. So this is the the chicken from the biryani. Uh, okay, here. Mmm. Mmm. This is really great. I don't know if I can dip this here, but let's try. Mm. Mm. God, so the sauce it's so refreshing it is very mild it is very cooling and this it has a very well marinated flavor I have to try this with the with the rice mm. Mm. I love basmati rice so much. Like it's one of my favorite rice because basmati rice it's actually a very low glycemic um, type of um, grain that you can actually eat, and this is this doesn't have really that much of the starch, so it's kind of healthy. But it's still refined, so it's good in moderation. But since we're doing mukbang today, so there's no moderation in this. I want to put the inner cottage cheese. So I submerged this in the roti. Or rather the roti was submerged into it. And I put on some cottage cheese. So let's see. Mmm. I love how the flavor can be mild and complex like the cheese tastes so mild like you know bean curdish but then the sauce is really hot and spicy mm -hmm. 
just wanted to try it with the sauce. Here. I need to try just the just the sauce. Mm. I'm trying to figure out what's the ingredients of this, but um, I think it has some spices like cardamom, which is basically a spice that's being used in making berbere. I've made berbere before. It's a Ethiopian dish. Where you need to cook uh, a lot of onions and then caramelize it and then put on the rest of the spices and it's an amazing curry dish mm. Mm. Look at this money rice. It's so it's so long. The grains has a very good texture. It's really not that sticky. The characteristic of an old rice. Just just so you know. Best Madi or I think it's jasmine rice. They do have the same characteristic. They're both old aged rice, so they have less starches compared to the other refined rice or grains. Hmm. I love daiquiri so much. You should watch my Cooking with Rome episode. I went to the beach and then I made some cocktails because I cannot cook in the beach. Okay. So... I wanted to try this. This is a Thai part, as what you can see. Mm. Mm. It has some amazing caramelized onions as well. Mm. Mm. This is mildly spicy, but well seasoned. Mm. Let's put on some paneer. Yeah. I want some roti. Let's put on some biryani rice with the paneer in it. And then some chicken, chicken meat from the Thai. Like that. Mm. <laughs> It tastes really wonderful. It's like I'm having some burrito. Burrito also has rice and some beef. So I think this dish is 
good with meat then. With goat's meat. Like, I really love goat's meat so much better than beef. Yeah. That's what I will order soon. Well. I think it's weird, but let's try it. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. I wanted to try, but I may throw up because I know the last time that I've had a fresh chili pepper, um, it's actually what it called capsicum. It, I don't know. I think it grosses me out, probably because I cannot handle the spice in it. So it just, I never really puke n normally when it comes to eating even I'm even if I'm inebriated and if I had a lot of alcohol but I never throw up but when I've had this before it made me throw up and I don't really wanted to remember that it's so brutal and beyond I love the tanginess and the blend of spices. This is such a great curry rice. Um, I can probably have this every lunch because I think this is too heavy for dinner, but that's yeah, dinner time, so. <laughs> I think this is better with chapati. I love the texture of chapati compared to the roti because it has it actually has a flaky texture. It is kind of like rough and soft. But that's something that I, I don't really like. It's just that. I like chapati bread better. And I think it will, this will go well with chapati. <laughs> oh.
The biryani. It's totally good. I just don't want to try this. I think it's behind. Hmm. <laughs> I think I've had enough. Sorry, my fingers. But overall, I enjoyed it. I love Indian food so much, and I couldn't wait to try more and share it with you guys. So, thank you for watching, and see you soon. Goodbye.